got a question for the millennials. Do you guys feel that you are? I don't feel or act like a millennial, but I am so glad I am, particularly over the past few weeks when a Gen Z tried to insult me. And it just gave me such a laugh. And over the past few weeks, every time I think about it, I can't help but smile. When I turned 22, I was absolutely devastated and I was depressed that whole day. And I remember thinking, I don't want to get married or have kids. Like, what is the point in life now? Then after I turned 30, I kind of thought, do you know what? This isn't so bad. And then when I turned 40, I was like, yes, because so many good things started happening and I was just loving life. A few weeks ago, somebody posted a video on TikTok of a woman leaning over a table on her phone and the guys behind her were looking at her ass and her husband came up and lifted her up and sat her on the seat. So I commented saying, this is actually quite controlling. Like if that had been me and my husband was leaning over a table and there was women looking at his ass, I'd be like, ah, fucking 50 pence to spectate, bitch. Keep your eyes to yourself, right? Like why was he grabbing her and putting her down on the seat? So then somebody commented and says, oh, she knew what she was doing. And I says, oh, but she's just a woman existing. She's not done anything wrong. So this person replied back and they said, fat old woman wouldn't know anything about men. I'm 22 and I swear to God, right, I burst out laughing. I laughed so much, like I couldn't breathe in. Like I, I genuinely thought I was going to pee myself, right? And at the time, I didn't even understand why I found this so funny. But I just couldn't stop laughing at it. So as the day went on, it dawned on me that this person didn't like my comment and they went onto my page to see what I looked like and they thought, oh, she's just a fat old woman, she doesn't know anything, right? And the more I thought about it, the more I just kept laughing and I was like, are they actually for real right now? So later on that week, I was laughing about this to a friend in work who's 21 and it dawned on me why I found this so hilarious. Because I grew up in the 90s and back then you used to go out and drink in the street with your friends and go to house parties and stuff like that. And then in the 2000s you would go to clubs, raves, 18 to 30 holidays, house parties, like everything was just better, right? Pubs were opened until like sometimes one in the morning. The clubs were opened almost every day of the week. And when I went out two weeks ago, all the pubs closed at 9 o'clock. The clubs weren't even opened apart from a Friday and Saturday night. Now I know that being young isn't all about clubbing and drinking. But I just thought to myself, what is this person doing? This person is sitting in the house watching Netflix and trying to meet somebody online, judging them based only on their looks. Now, keep them in mind that they don't even do 18 to 30 holidays anymore because they're banned. Because, first of all, it was a bit unacceptable, right? But at the time, it was fucking crazy. And I remember I was at a pub, and it was a pub that was outside, and the public couldn't just get in, but they could see onto the stage. And there was like full on fellatio going on for a £100 bar tab. Now you would never get something like that now. Growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, you actually got to experience meeting somebody, getting to know them and then maybe asking them out on a date. But now they just scroll through as if they're shopping on Amazon, picking whatever one they think looks the best and then just going out with them. And half the time, the stuff that they've wrote in their profile is a lot of crap. And it also dawned on me that half the people that this lassie spoke to growing up online was probably a 50 year old pedo. So this person is 22 years old, meaning that depending on if she's from the UK or America, she's been an adult for less than two years or less than five years. Congratulations, you now know everything about men. This person genuinely thought that calling me a fat old woman would hurt my feelings. But back then, that's how your best friends used to speak to you. It was like a term of endearment. Like, people just get so offended about everything now and they don't even know how to have a laugh. It's absolutely hilarious to me that a 22-year-old would say that a fat old woman knows nothing about men. Do they even know what the 90s and 2000s was like? It was fucking crazy. And not to mention the fact that I haven't always been fat. Do you think I was born fat? No, I used to be a size 10. But people get older and they change, right? And I'm just, like, baffled by this attitude. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think that all Gen Z are like this. I'm friends with plenty of Gen Z who are not fannies. But it's the fact that this person who's only recently became an adult thinks that she knows everything about men. Now, as a 40-year-old, I don't know everything about men. Men don't even know everything about men because everybody's different. She thought that she was hurting my feelings as if I'm a fragile little flower. Like, actually take yourself to fuck. So as an older person who speaks to a lot of younger people and they come out with things like, oh, that's sick, that's ill, that's bussing. And it's like, okay, we came out with stupid words when we were younger as well. That's just part of growing up. People do that. 
But then a couple of weeks ago, somebody was making a video about a TV and they were like, oh, how cunty is this TV? In a positive way, like meaning the epic one of a kind. And I thought, I am never going to use the word cunty in a positive light. It's too far. I'm now just going to sit back and watch society unravel because now Gen X is coming up and most of them are ignorant as fuck and half of them can't even read. So we're just going to sit back and see what happens. I'm really happy for this 22 year old who seems to know everything there is to know about these men she's meeting online. She's got her life together and she knows everything about life because I didn't have that when I was 22 and I've not got it as a 40 year old. But I'm glad to sit back and watch society unravel and think to myself, you might have a skinny body in youth, but at least I grew up when it was fun. I grew up in the 80s, 90s and 2000s and you're never going to experience that. So if you think that I'm a fat old woman who knows nothing, then that's perfectly fine with me. So over the past few weeks I've been telling some of my millennial friends about this comment and we've been laughing, right? And we've been like, oh my god, because we've put weight on and because we're older, we know nothing about life. Like, imagine we had camera phones when we were younger. We would either be in jail or we would be famous on OnlyFans and rating in the millions. Like, no joke. It's just totally ridiculous to me. But if that person who left that comment is seeing this video, I hope you have a lovely day because you have been giving me and my friends such a laugh for weeks.